Hey guys, in this video we are going to do the powerful comeback missions um, in the Supreme Magnificent Battle against uh, Super Saiyan God uh, Gogeta. And as you can see I took Piccolo as a lead, uh, I used the superhero team. Um, if you rebuild, uh, rebuild the team, it's the most important thing is that you also use uh, Beast Gohan as a friend because he will be m most important at the end of the fight because he can protect the team which is the most problematic thing in this fight I guess. The early stages are pretty easy but the last two uh, phases are pretty strong and you need characters that can protect the team which for example Beast Gohan and Super Saiyan got Gogeta, the um, Carnival LR, which I also have on the team. Uh, you may saw that I have the UI Sign LR Tech Goku, and which is brand new. I guess most of you don't have him. If you don't have him, it's no problem. You can easily no item the stage. Um, without him, I would take the STR UI Sign or some strong superhero character. Maybe. Nah, I don't know that the, the Gammas are in powerful comic, but um, yeah, there we have the first turn. Um, I put Vegeta in front of Beast Gohan because on the first turn, both of the um, Easy A's, Vegeta and uh, UI Goku, are pretty much invincible on their first turns, and you need uh, to have in mind that you uh, need those hits on Vegeta so that he fully can beat up. Um, Remember he has 30% uh, Was it 30%? I guess it was 30% uh, base damage reduction and um, he can build up up to 10% per hit in the turn in which he gets it up to 60 and which is uh, total no nonsense Beast Gohan, I think I don't have to talk much about him He's pretty much invincible offensive god he can protect the team i hope you pulled him because he will be he's the key factor in every team uh, for these uh, more difficult fights um so he will be very important and um orange piccolo is also still very solid he dominated the game for roughly two years um and still is very good um and he also activates the uh, Unit super attack with Beast Gohan, which is uh, quite nice. There you can see the intro animation for the UI sign Tech Goku, and he's pretty much also very important. I hope you pulled him. If not, um, he probably will come back at the. Um, uh, he probably will come back at the uh, World Red uh, celebration. And then you can buy him with coins, but uh, he's a very important key factor uh, on most likely every team. Because he is quite OP as UI Goku, but he also ha uh, have the implemented damage reduction as a first attack in a turn, which is totally OP. Because UI Goku, as OP he is, he can get caught if he's not dodging, but that cannot happen with UI sign because he has that uh, damage reduction. So he is quite an upgrade to the normal UI Goku, I would say. Um, yeah, we pretty much get through the first phase. It's we, like I said, it's not very difficult. Um, you, what you want to do throughout the fight, you want to build up your characters like uh, Beast Gohan. You want to super attack with him uh, as most as you can to build his attack up. You will. Uh, you want to super attack with Vegeta also to build his key up, and same goes for the Gokus. And yeah, I use a rotation of um, Beast Gohan and Vegeta, and uh, as you could see, my second rotation um, is UI Sign and UI Goku. I think it's uh, clear why I, why I play with those two rotations, and the others are just floaters. And it's insane that uh, um, Orange Piccolo is a floater now, as insane as he was the last year. That's uh, totally insane. And uh, Blue Boys are also very strong. I think they sometimes get uh, underestimated. They can do some severe damage. They are totally incredible damage dealer. Um, yeah, this rotation 
also nothing can happen. I put the um, LGL UI Goku in the first slot because um, he needs also to build up with uh, dodges. Um, with dodges you can uh, build up defense and attack. Normally you, uh, you would put uh, the attack UI sign Goku in the first slot, but like I said, on these early stages we do not have to fear anything, so you can just focus uh, on building all your characters up. Exactly. That's also insane how much damage uh, they, they can deal. Um, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm wondering where the where the game goes in a couple of years because they are scaling these damages and everything so high. I don't know if if it's realistic that we in maybe two anniversaries have normal damage dealers with 50 million damage, but um, I think that's a pretty big challenge for this game. How much can they scale this up to not like be totally nonsense, you know? But uh, it's working right now. Is that the first turn that... No, it's not the first turn, but... Um, Super Saiyan God Gogeta is also pretty important on that run. Because now, now he's a floater, but in the end he will get important because uh, when he transforms, the next turn after he transforms, um, he activates. A, you can activate his active skill, and he, for one turn, um, projects all the attacks on him and dodges with a hundred percent guarantee. So it's basically uh, a ghost usher. You can. I think you can say that this active skill is basically a ghost usher, which is totally OP. This is even more OP than the uh, Beast Gohan active skill. Um, but Beast Gohan as a card as it is, is so OP that all the attacks he um, projects on him are not taking, uh, not making any damage because he is just invincible. But I think I'm pretty sure Gogeta's active skill is the best active skill in the game. Hands down, this, this is totally OP. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good damage turn. We will do some severe damage on that turn. Remember, with the blue boys, you want to collect rainbow keys first because um, so they can build up damage reduction. I think it was with each rainbow key sphere they obtain, they. Um, get like a 7% damage reduction and if you get 4 rainbow keys first you have a, a 35% damage reduction, is that right? Is my math correct? Correct me if I'm wrong but something like that plus a base damage reduction which is um, insane as a floater. Yeah, as you can see, we, we're doing some pretty severe damage. 40 million attacks dead, guaranteed crit. Um, yeah, these uh, anniversary, anniversary ECAs are totally OP. Um, I have them rainbowed because they are for quite a long time in the game. I hope you have them rainbowed too because I don't know if they're that impressive damage wise if you have them on 55%, but if you have them rainbowed, um, it's pretty much GG. Yeah, there you, there you can see the Blue Boys in action. Um, I mean, like I said, they are one of the best damage dealers in the game right now, I think. Look at that. They're also debuffing the enemy. Uh, 10 million attacks, the, the third attack. They can do up to five attacks, I think. That's totally insane. Yeah, we completely disintegrated that stage. Um, now, I think we're on the final stage, are we? Yeah, I think that's, uh, this is the final stage right now. Um, now the damage is getting real. So now you really need to pay attention to your rotations and you have to use uh, those active skills pretty soon. Um, otherwise you will get hooked on the stage. Now he's at Blue Gogeta is doing severe damage. But we have our unit uh, super attack on, which is great. Uh, with the unique, uh, unit super attack, um, all the rest of the turn has a, 
I think, 20% increase in crit, which is totally insane. Um, yeah, 30 million attacks that, yeah, Vegeta is just insane. Yeah, crit, additional guaranteed crit, 8 million. It's fun. It's fun to play with these uh, anniversary EZAs. They are, they are just fun to play with. Now it's getting interesting. We are getting hit with the super attack of the hardest stage. Let's see how much... Yeah, okay. As you can see, even Vegeta gets caught on this turn. He didn't build up all his damage reduction, but I mean, the fact that he gets caught tells you a lot about this last stage. The damage is insane. Um, like I said, Vegeta did not have built his full damage reduction up, but He's quite tanky, I would say, and still got caught on this one, but uh, we have a revive, so no problem. Um, I think this is where I also realized, okay, um, the enemy is hitting hard, I need to really pay attention. Now we do not have anything up. Um, yeah, I checked the domain of the of the US sign uh, tech Goku, but the domain... I think wouldn't uh, bring that much benefit because our enemy is also a super STR so we would buff our enemy too which is yeah not the best idea and yeah it's, let's wait and see uh, what I do on this turn I decide to activate the active skill of Gogeta so that on the next turn I can use this active skill to um, protect the team and basically have a ghost usher on my sleeve but I think I rotated him off and used it on the in three turns I think yeah I yeah I floated him off and used it uh, later um, the reason why I decided to put AGL UI in the first slot right here is because he's doing way more damage than the UI sign and we have a Dokkan mode to take right here, so we're doing some severe damage. I failed that last one, which is embarrassing, but I think we still uh, we we'll still do a lot of damage. Let's see. Oh yeah, this this is some severe damage. I think I didn't even use the active skill of uh, Gogeta, as it uh, seems right now, because. Yeah, that, this, is, uh, this is totally insane. You, I nearly single-handedly destroyed the last phase. I mean, this is just, um, yeah, amazing. Um, yeah, the damage of the UI sign is quite moderate. Um, he's more there for the tanking, but he will finish the job, I guess. Does he have a KO screen on the, on the normal super attack? I don't know, Maybe we will see. He doesn't uh, has a uh, curl screen. Um, yeah, that's it. Th this was the powerful comic mission. As you can see, um, the game was in maintenance, so you cannot see how I claim the missions. But um, this was it. Um, like I said, if you don't have the US sign tech Goku, then just use the a STR one. As you could see, you don't need him that much. You need to pay attention at the last phase because there um, the damage is getting real but um, if you pay attention to your rotations and if you have these anniversary LRs then um, yeah there's nothing that can happen to you with that being said um, I hope you enjoyed this video I could help you and we will see each other or hear each other in the next video